It's the 8th of August. It's Tuesday. It's one of many days in Glasgow. Glasgow Central might yep. just yet be the station we visit the most. Uh, I'm excited because why are you excited? we're going somewhere. Yes. Since the, I remember sitting in our back room and people asking us, where are you looking forward to going? And I remember badly pronouncing Wings Bay. But so we, today, that's where we're today going. Today, it's Wings Bay Day! Yay! To the trains. All of them. A lovely chap by the name of Steve, whose map we've stolen, who's got a City Days Out Glasgow Rover ticket, and we're comparing the 2017 map to the 1995 British Rail map. And there's a new station on the Mary Hill line called Kelvindale. Foxton. It's up there, it's on the list. Made it to Gurukh, end of the line, sun's out. It means in about 10 minutes it'll be raining. It's alright, we've got my rain jackets, <laughs> it's fine. Look at that. I gather you can get a boat from here. Yeah. I think what's interesting for me is that I pretty much had my mind set on the fact that Glasgow week would just be sort of monotonous suburbanness, and I didn't realise that on the first suburban day of Glasgow, it's already kind of, it's giving signs of just how awesome the rest of Scotland's going to be. I want to get on a boat. I don't know where to, but I, I, part of me just wants to get on a boat. At some point we should get on a boat. Get a boat, aren't we? When are we getting a boat? When are we get a boat across to Sky. We're going to Sky on a boat, of course we are. At some point we'll get on a boat. It's so pretty! There's a boat! I think we can flag him down. You can get a boat to Clyde. You can get a boat to Clyde. Let's what, do that. What does Gurik and Gaelic mean? Uh, apparently, Gurik in Gaelic means rounded hill, of which there are many rounded hills in the area. We're at Port Glasgow. We've got a two minute change onto the Weems Bay train. Let's not dawdle, let's do it. Look, he's not in. He's fine. We're going to make it fine. Why are you excited? I don't know. Because <laughs> it's the old. It's the old style. It is a, it's an older train. Uh, yeah. Older. Are you watching? In the run-up of all the stations, we made a more fuss about all the station names that had three letters in them. There were eleven. Uh, two remain. One of them is Air A Y R. The other one is the one we're pulling into now, which is really a cheat. It's an acronym, IBM, IBM Station. Now, it was opened in the 1970s when several hundred employees used to work here at an IBM facility, which is no longer here. The area now is now known as Valley Park. And weirdly, in the old days, they used to not advertise what trains stop here in the peak only. But no one's getting on, no one's getting off, no one, no one, no one. And nowadays, quite a lot of trains, well, you know, the hourly services stop here even though IBM is no longer here. This definitely deserves a, a tick. Oh! IBM tick. <laughs> Vicky, it's, it's already magnificent, isn't it? Mind blown. <laughs> the station, look at the station. Yeah. Oh well, I'm staying here. I'm just going to stay here. You can do the rest of it yourself. I'm going to stay here. It's beautiful. <laughs> I've definitely seen worse stations. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. Wow. <laughs> Is it in your top ten? Yep. It's in, it's in my top ten. Yep. It's in my top ten. Yep. Straight into the top ten. Good work, Wings. Easy. Well done. So we're at 
Weems Bay and I'm chatting to Nancy. Hello there, Nancy. Um, and you are the founder of the Friends of yes. Weems Bay Station, That's is right. that correct? Yes. And so, first of all, how did that happen? <laughs> because I'm married to a rail enthusiast. A Same rail more. enthusiast <laughs> with lots of contacts in the rail industry who's been spotting trains since day one. Um, and he knew John Yellowlees of ScotRail. So he was desperate to get someone to put plants back at Wings Bay Station because it used to be famous for its hanging baskets and floral decorations. My sister and I volunteered to put plants back at Wings Bay. And a few weeks later, we were asked if we couldn't find a use for empty accommodation at the station, in which we're now sitting, the original first class waiting rooms. John sent me to Pitlochry, sent us both to Pitlochry with a ticket to ride, of course, <laughs> um, where they had already established a second hand bookshop for charitable purposes on the station pl uh, platform. And we came back fired with enthusiasm to try our hand at the same here. And that's what we've done. We now run a second hand bookshop to raise funds to restore things at the station. So, how many people belong to the group? There's about 500, I'm guessing at the moment, because the number varies. Wow. There's about 500, I think. Fantastic. Um, and as we were having a little walk around the station earlier, mm -hmm. and you were explaining a bit about the architecture and the layout, the shape of the platforms, mm -hmm. uh, and the, mm -hmm. there's a what you call a lazy S, a lazy S, S bend. bend. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and that continues as you exit the station as well. And what was yes. the purpose of that? Donald Matheson was the chief railway engineer for the Caledonian Railway at the time, and he had been out in Chicago and had learned about their methods of crowd control and they built things in curves. Central Station was also being built at this time in Glasgow, also a James Miller and Donald Matheson project. And the buildings there are not right angled, they're, they're curved. Okay. Because it let, lets people see where to go more easily. They can get from point A to point B pretty directly. There's no dodging around corners to be redirected anyway. So it's, Wings Bay is built on the same principle. Nancy, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. It's thank you very much indeed for coming to oh, see us. It's, it's a great been... honour you've done us. Well, We're thrilled to meet you both and I hope everything goes well for your, your project. Thank you. It's just nothing short of incredible. It's incredible. It's awesome. Greg. Yes, hello. Hi. So, where do you get the boat, where can you get the boat from from here nowadays? Just Rossi. Just Rossi, but I gather it used to go to multiple destinations. Oh yes, you could, when, when the pier opened in 1865, it was the first place on the Clyde where there was direct interchange between the ships and the trains. They went all over the place. Indeed, if you were going to Largs, which is on the mainland, um, you'd, go, you'd go on the boat from here because it was another 20 years before the railway got to Largs. Now, you saw our video down at, I think it was Fishguard Harbour. Yeah. We were speaking about the ferry company not putting their prices up and not running their services for foot passengers in time for the railway companies. What's happened here at Weems Bay? Well, right across the Caledonian McBrain um, network, the Scottish Government has reduced the fares very considerably. On some routes, it's less than half what it used to be a few years well, back. That's a good thing. Yes, and it's all about supporting island communities and the more remote parts of Scotland, proving connectivity. And I think it was Dale on the North Downs train who said, you know, it's public transport, and if the public can't afford it, it's not public. It's no longer public transport. Public. Yeah. Um, we knew that Weemsway was going to be good. We've come here this morning, we've been blown away by its beauty, this, this curved walkway, the fantastic roof, all the heritage features. It, it's, is it the best station in Britain? Oh, I think it would have to be a contender. I think so. I, th I, think, I think it would. I mean, the fact that it's Category A listed indicates, you know, its merits. What does that mean exactly? That's not a Grade 1, Grade 2 listed? No, it's diff different in Scotland. It's Category A. Category A is the equivalent of Grade 1 in England. So this is equivalent of a Grade 1 listed building yep. in Scotland. And Greg, it is beautiful. It is. Thank you for your time today. Thank, Thank you so much. Could you now, could you look into the camera and say, yeah. I'm going to give all the stations a lift to Largs? Yeah, and I'm going to give all the stations a lift to Largs. Like this. <laughs> Greg's driven us to Largs. Here's Vicky with three quick things. Biking. Ice cream. And over there, out to sea, paddle steamer.
ready to end Ross and Harbour. I'm just going to say thanks to Greg. Greg, you've been amazing. Oh, thank you. Thanks. It's been Vic, a pleasure. Vicky, are you going to stay here or are you going to come with me? Oh. Um, <laughs> Bye. I'm going to go back to Weems Bay. Bye. See you later. Bye. <laughs> Bye. I'll get the train. Bye. See ya. Yep. Not air. Yep. Newton on air. I, I, we almost went one more stop to air, and Vicky went, no, we're changing. We'd, we'll do air when we do the Strand Ra branch, yep. which is later this week. Aren't you glad I'm here? I'm, no, I feel like... No? I, no, <laughs> sorry. I mean, no, no, yes, I'm glad you're here. What I meant was, I was so excited to go to air, because when we do air, we'll have done all 11 three-letter name stations, and I, was, <laughs> I thought that was going to be today. And it's not. That'll be either Thursday or Friday when we do general. Sorry about that. So Newton on Air is like a suburb of, of Air. It's a nice church. It's a nice church. And there's a plaque as well about Newton on Air station improvements. Trains. We Paisley. Paisley Gilmore Street. Yes. We're going to go to Paisley Canal. Ready? Yes. Here we go. What you got? It was a canal. The Paisley Canal Line. Yeah. And it was converted into a railway in, in 1883. 83. This station was formally opened by Councillor John Mullen. And this is our last train of the day. This is uh, we're going to get this back to Glasgow Central. Way. Back to Glasgow Central for the fourth time. It's going to win, isn't it? It's Do you gonna, think it will? Yeah, I think it's going to. It's, it it's only day two, isn't it? Have, have, really, have we been there four times already? Left, arrived, left, left, arrived. Okay. Say bye. Oh, goodbye. gentlemen's toilets in Wayne's Bay, even the urinals are curved to match the station. Probably shouldn't film until we need to leave.